Coach, so I guess, how is this team coming together? You've got a lot of new faces, a lot of transfers, and then you've had some of those secret scrimmages recently to kind of see the guys in action. So how's everything kind of coming together as you get ready for the season? Well, I like I like our group. You know, this, this is a team that's shown that uh, it's about team. It's not an individual thing with this team. And they, they you, if you will, when you all start interviewing them and things of that nature, you'll see how much they really like each other. So that's really encouraging to us. You guys added a ton of different faces from different programs. Some of them played the American in the past. How is it? Is it difficult building chemistry with this roster? So many different guys mixed in with the returners. Obviously, time takes uh, chemistry to mesh. But uh, at the end of the day, when you recruit good guys, uh, it shouldn't take as long, you know. And, and again, when you when you really like each other, you know, the chemistry has has a tendency to, you know, kind of. Um, come together a little faster and we just like where we're projected where we're going at right now for sure. Is there anything you run or any sort of like extra time you set aside to help build chemistry in situations like this? We have we have a thing called character coaching where uh, Coach Calvin Johnson uh, heads um, with uh, Orlando Christian uh, Orlando community outreach um, every Friday. So I mean that's one of the, the bigger things that we do along with um, having days where we just take the team to eat and things of that nature for some uh, from team bonding. How are the players adapting to Coach Dawkins' defense first uh, position? Well, you know, when you're an offensive guy and you can look at, you know, Coach Dawkins, how many, you know, how much he scored the basketball, they already know they don't have to worry about nothing offensively. So it, it makes you want to play defense when you're playing for a guy that scored the basketball like Coach, Coach Dawkins did and, and gives you the freedom that he does offensively. So. Defense, I think uh, I, w I wouldn't mind playing a little defense if they're going to let me play offense. <laughs> Darius Johnson obviously had an excellent freshman year. What do you want to see? What are you expecting from him in year two? Well, a little leadership from him, and he's taking on that uh, role really well. Um, and just uh, leading the team, basically. You know, I mean, He's a go-hard guy that uh, the team seems to be um, following behind right now. I think he did with the grind of last season as a true freshman. As a true freshman, um, I think he handled it well. He learned a lot. You know, he learned a lot, and uh, it's good for him to go through those growing pains as a freshman. But uh, coming back as uh, one of the lone guys to come back uh, from a team last year, I think he's going to, um, you know, I think it's going to pay big dividends. What are your other statesmen on the team? C.J. Walker said something about discipline and grouping being a point of emphasis for this team. How have you seen that materialize the right? Well, they, they're holding each other accountable more. You know, we're holding them accountable, but the team, the guys are holding each other more accountable as well. And they're being receptive. Darius Johnson played quite a bit last season. You guys have another talented freshman. And Taylor Hendricks, highly rated recruit. Um, you know, what, are you, what are your expectations for him this season? What's his role going to be on this team? Taylor? Oh, well, Taylor just needs to be Taylor. Be comfortable, be comfortable with who Taylor's going to be. You know, and uh, we, we'll just take what he gives us because he's he's a terrific young man off the court. He's a terrific young man on the court that's a willing learner, and uh, you know, expecting some good things from Taylor. What are your thoughts on the non-conference schedule now that's been finalized? Uh, our non-conference schedule will always be good. Coach Dawkins really prides himself on you know giving us giving us a really good non-conference schedule to prepare us for the American Conference. Who's really your starting like five right now. At this particular moment, we don't have a starting five. You know, so we still figuring that part out, but um, you know, it's going to be exciting to see. And uh, you could see some different lineups, different games. So who knows right now? What has CJ Kelly brought to the group so far? I know you thought highly of him when you brought him in here. But yeah. What has he shown you so far? Leadership, scoring. Uh, that's the biggest thing. So, you know, defends. Uh, he's a he's a, he's a he's a guy that gives of himself. You know, he can do a lot more, but he sacrificed a lot of himself. You know, for the betterment of the team. Help to have a, a guy like that that's played a lot of minutes, a senior kind of presence in a group like this. Without a doubt, and he's been, and, and, and he's, 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 he, he made some comments about him being quiet, other places where he know he can say some things, but here he's been more vocal. So that's a, that's a big plus for us. So many new faces on this team. What were some of the qualities, whether on or off the court, that you emphasized when searching? Say it again, one more time, please. With so many new faces on this team, what sort of qualities, whether on or off the court, do you emphasize when looking for the new player? Well, you know, character is one. 
you know, we, we watch how guys are on the court and off the court when we recruit. You know, high quality, high character guys that are that put the team first. That's first and foremost. And then, you know, you got to do your homework, ask some questions around the people that's, that they're around and some people that they don't know you ask questions about. So, You guys have had some success on the re recruiting trail lately, going to the Big 12 next year. What's been the response as you've talked to prospects and class of 2023 who are going to play their first seasons as a member of the Big 12? I'm, obviously, you know, going into the Big 12 is, is – it kind of helps us in the recruit from a recruiting standpoint, which I mean, you know, the American Conference is tough, but when you're saying Power Five to kids and their parents and the AAU people, it's like, you know, all right, that's that's you know, you're an you're an American, but you know, you're not in the Power Five. So now it gives us that kind of pop, saying that we're going to the Big 12 and we're a Power Five school. So yeah, listening more, and it's it's not easier because we always. We always chase five stars and all of that stuff. So, you know. Coach Norris, in what ways is this team different than what we saw last season? Again, it's it's more not, nothing against the team last year, but early from 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 start, I say they're more together. Like it, it, I've never seen a team so early click together. You know, more so overall than it being clicks early. To, to become more cohesive at the end. But from a start, it's more like they all live together. For a so. team to be together, there's got to be good leadership. I know a lot of these guys are brand new. Who have you seen really step up from a leadership standpoint? C.J. Walker, Darius Johnson. Um, it's, it's, it's more collectively, all of those guys, but those two guys is, is C.J. Kelly and Lahat. Those, those guys have, been, have been, been really, really, really good in terms of stepping out of their shell to become, to be, to be leaders. Good. Thank you, Appreciate it. Thanks a lot, Coach Norris. Appreciate y'all. Thank you.